Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with databases. Our viewer is looking for guidance on how to implement cursor pagination using SQLize and Postgres. They mentioned struggling to find clear, basic examples and are curious about NPM packages that could assist them, but they need straightforward instructions on how to use them. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To implement cursor pagination using SQLize with Postgres, we first need to understand what cursor pagination is. Unlike traditional pagination, which uses page numbers, Cursor pagination uses a unique identifier to keep track of the current position in the dataset. Next, let's set up our SQLize model. For this example, we'll assume you have a model called POST. Make sure you have SQLize and Postgres installed in your project. Now let's write a function to fetch posts using cursor pagination. We'll need to pass the cursor value, which is typically the ID of the last item from the previous page. Finally, we can call this function in our route handler. Make sure to handle the case where no cursor is provided, which means we should start from the beginning. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement cursor pagination with SQLize, you can create a function that retrieves users based on a cursor ID and a limit. If no last ID is provided, it defaults to zero. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement cursor pagination with SQLize, you can use a helpful package called SQLize Cursor Pagination. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.